Good day YouTube. Today I'm doing just a bit of a quick fun comparison video between Fedora 36 on the left hand side here, so the XFC edition, uh, whereas we've also got the XFCE edition on the right hand side here, but it is instead Linux Mint 20.3. So without further ado, we'll get into it here. So we'll start off with looking at the applications menu and see what's going on here. So left and right. Now I do tend to enjoy, most people will, the uh, the Linux Mint XFCE edition here. It's a little bit more customized to look like any variant of, uh, of Linux Mint there, but it is just a little bit nicer the way that it is. You've even got this, uh, this heads up display or this search option here, which you don't actually get with the stock standard looking uh, XFCE variant for Fedora 36. I mean, you do have a categorization of different apps, internet, graphics, multimedia, but um, you know, you've got to go through a bit of a list there, which is unfortunate. On the right hand side here for Linux Mint, you still do have that categorization, for instance, internet, graphics, multimedia, applications, but like I say, you can search for it, so that's quite good. Uh, right clicking, we'll have a look at the, the context menus, and they are pretty much of a muchness there. There's maybe one or two extra options on the right hand side though there for Linux Mint. But hey, I just like to open up a terminal, and away I go. That makes me happiest. Uh, next up is the file managers. So these should both be the Thuna file manager, a great lightweight file manager used for each of these machines here. Pretty much the same version in there as well. So pretty much the same, slightly different color accents and tones. One is blue, the other is green, as you can expect. Uh, moving on, uh, let's have a look at the back end and see what's happened in here. So for Fedora 36 XFCE edition, we are running the 5.17 kernel, which is great to see. It's uh, really the latest and greatest there. Whereas Mint, uh, Linux Mint 20.3 is running on the 5.4 kernel, a little bit older. Now this can be changed manually, but I don't normally recommend it. The reason why it is running on a bit of an older kernel is because it is running on the, the long-term service release of Ubuntu. Uh, so yeah, older kernel, not as great for later and greater hardware, that sort of thing there. So if you do have cutting edge hardware, you'd probably be looking at the Fedora side of things over the, the Linux Mint side of things for sure. Uh, next up, last but not least, uh, take this next part with a bit of a grain of salt, but let's have a look at the CPU and RAM usage on boot up. So both nicely idling away with the CPU, uh, RAM, so about 600, almost exactly 600 megabytes of RAM on boot up for Fedora. Okay, so not too bad, not perfect, but not bad. And on the right hand side, we've got 485 megabytes of RAM on boot up for Linux Mint. Now, partially the reason there might be it's a little bit less bleeding edge, at least in terms of the kernel there that we saw just a moment ago. But uh, hey, it does have a nicely customized uh, XFCE variant. So it's doing pretty well for itself. So it certainly seems to win on the RAM side of things there. So that's pretty much it guys, thanks for watching. Please leave a comment, subscribe, hit that like button, and I do hope to see all of you guys there in the next one.